totally is. Uh, hey guys, Rocco Taco here. Um, so today we're here with a bit of a different setup. Um, not really unboxing or opening up any cards. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys for a bit, I guess, kind of introduce myself and um, sort of explain how the whole um, hockey card collecting thing got started and just talk about some other stuff. Um, so yeah, um, so I started this YouTube channel about um, a month ago-ish, kind of towards the end of August, mid end of August, slash end of August, and um, um, that's when I started the channel, but the whole idea came from, I guess, way before that, um, because as a kid, I would, um, collect hockey cards from McDonald's, I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but, um, I don't know how long ago it was, I remember I was still a child, um, kind of growing up, and go to McDonald's, and I'd always ask my parents, oh, can you buy me hockey cards, can you buy me hockey cards, um, I think the cards that I have are actually from 2001, so, what, 14, 15 years ago McDonald's did that, um, um, but yeah, that's kind of when I first, um, started to collect hockey cards, um, but, um, anyways, kind of onto how I started this channel, um, back in March, March, April-ish, um, a couple of friends and I, um, sign up at a gym, or they don't consider themselves a gym, they call themselves Planet Fitness, they say we're not a gym, we're Planet Fitness, but, um, anyways, um, we didn't really have memberships to a gym, I guess, and I was wrapping up school soon, um, so I decided, you know, why not sign up with my friends, it's always nice to work out with your friends. Um, so I did that, checked out Planet Fitness, signed up there, it's whatever, it's $10 a month, um, doesn't really have everything that a regular gym would have, but um, it was better than nothing, right? Um, so we just went, we signed up, and um, it opened up at uh, the Galleria Mall. Those of you that live in Toronto, um, Ontario, Canada, I might know of Galleria Mall. Um, so that's where Planet Fitness opened up, and um, as a child, I would always be at Galleria Mall, uh, especially Saturday mornings, because collectors would come with like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, sports memorabilia, basically a bunch of stuff. Galleria, when I was growing up in Toronto, was the shit. Okay, Galleria and like Dufferin Mall were the spots to be at. And um, I guess that's, I don't know, maybe why I signed up there. But it, it kind of started bringing back memories. Um, not being there in so long and then all of a sudden just starting to go there to work out and stuff. It kind of started bringing back those memories and um, I went to go work out one day and I happened to notice um, a vending machine, the card box I think it's called. I just kind of took a glance at it. I saw there were some Pokemon cards, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, sports cards like hockey cards, like old school ones from the 90s and stuff. And um, I saw, I think at the very bottom right, a uh, Curtis Joseph hockey card. It was actually like a pack of cards about this thick for a dollar. I was like, oh, I cannot, I cannot pass on this. So I bought that. It was Curtis Joseph, I think, in 1992 uh, when he played for the St. Louis Blues, so before he came to Toronto. 
Um, right, and he was one of my favorite players, given that I'm a Leafs fan, he was one of my favorite players growing up as a kid. And so I guess all those memories and stuff, I just, you know what, I have to buy it. So I bought that pack of cards. There were some other nice cards in there too. And then, um, yeah, I just kept doing my thing, kept working out, and um, I noticed some hockey cards that weren't too expensive. They were like 50 cents for a pack of eight. Um, so I bought a pack, um, and I opened it up. I got a Leafs player. I didn't even realize who it was until I bought another three packs. Um, like, I hadn't even done a, an opening video or anything yet. This was all off the record or off camera, I guess, right? Um, so, I bought another three packs. And I had, I had recently started watching unboxing videos of Pokemon cards on YouTube. Because um, when I was a kid, I played Pokemon a lot. It was like my favorite game ever. Me and my cousin, we collected basically all the Pokemon in Pokemon Gold and Silver. Um, and those of you that play Pokemon will know that's extremely hard to do to catch every single Pokemon because they're not all available in that game. Like you can't get them all. You have to trade with other people, right? So I had Pokemon Yellow and we would trade each other, like I would trade to him, and then he would trade those to me in gold. And once you get that Pokeball, it goes in your Pokedex that you have that Pokemon. And we did that, right? We collected that. We were big Pokemon fans. Um, so shout out to my cousin uh, for that. Um, but um, back on to what I was going to. Uh, I started watching... Um, unboxing videos of Pokemon cards on YouTube. Um, I found out about them through my friend Mr. Manrique and I just kind of started watching them, you know, and I found it really cool, like, that, you know, he's doing, like, unboxing videos like that, like, not just packs, but full, full boxes of hockey cards. Um, not hockey cards, Pokemon cards, sorry. Um, so I thought, why not? Why not give it a shot? I had bought three packs of, um, 1992 OPG hockey cards. And, um, that was the first video I put up on this channel. Um, for the public to see, or for you guys to see. And, um, so I opened them up on camera. I didn't really have, like, a desk or a setup or anything. I just kind of put some binders on top of each other, kind of tried to get a good angle and unboxed or opened up those packs. And, um, I showed the video to JP, which is one of my, is one of my friends that I signed up at Planet Fitness with. And he's like, yo, man, that was so sick. I'm like, really? Like, you think so? You like that? And he's like, yeah, let's let's go buy more hockey cards so you can do another video. And I was like, okay, why not? Like, they're not too expensive, 50 cents a pack. I have a bunch of change in my room. I'm sure I can, I can do something, right? Like, whatever. Um, so one weekend we went downtown. Um, we biked downtown. Um, we bought some stuff, and then we, on our way back up, we stopped by the Galleria Mall, where the vending machine was, and I had brought my bag of change, uh, like nickels, dimes, some quarters, barely any loonies or toonies, more like nickels, dimes, and quarters, um, no pennies, because those don't exist anymore, Canada, um, but, um, I think I had ten dollars in change, I remember counting it out, and I'm like, yeah, this should be enough change, this should be enough to buy all those packs of hockey cards, I don't think there's that many in there. So like, 
we're out of change, and there's still six or seven packs left in the vending machine. I'm like, crap. How am I going to get the rest of these? Um, so I had a $5 bill, and JP went over to Planet Fitness for me and exchanged that and got some change. And then... That's it. We bought out. We bought out the rest of the 1992 OPG hockey cards. We got 26 packs that day, and I was like, "Okay, this is awesome. I want to do like an unboxing or an opening video, like Primetime Pokemon, which is that dude that opens up Pokemon cards on YouTube that I mentioned earlier. I'll post a link um, probably to his YouTube channel if you guys are into Pokemon cards or like these unboxing videos." Um, he has a lot of videos up, like, um, personally I'm into those old school Pokemon cards that I collected, uh, when I was a kid, but he has everything, like, up to modern day Pokemon cards, like, he's a really big collector, um, really cool dude, really cool channel, I'll post the link so you guys can check that out if you're interested, but, um, so, here I have these 26 packs of hockey cards, I'm all excited, so, bike home and that same night pulled on my camcorder or no I did it on my cell phone I wasn't even using my camcorder at the time because um the cell phone was recording and I could watch it at the same time um on that setup that I had uh, it was later that I realized I could do the same thing with my camcorder and again I wasn't really trying to do anything I just wanted to make like a little video so I just did it on my cell phone right um and the funny thing is JP was like yo man why don't you get a Gretzky in those packs and I was like yo that would be really cool that would be so cool to pull a Gretzky card out of a pack of hockey cards I don't think like I've ever done that and if you've watched the video you'll know that I did pull a Wayne Gretzky You'll actually know that I pulled two of them, two Wayne Gretzky hockey cards, um, when we played for the LA Kings in 92, and a bunch of other awesome hockey players. There weren't really any um, insert cards or rare cards in that specific collection, so I guess the rarity depends on how good the player was. I'm not too sure, but anyways, it's a Wayne Gretzky card, man. Wayne Gretzky is like a hockey icon, legend. You have to love that. If you love hockey, you love Gretzky, so it's amazing. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, check them out. Um, they're the OPG unboxings. I have them in a playlist if you just want to watch the OPG ones. Um, I'm kind of starting to do that now as I open more different manufacturer packs. Like I have a playlist for Upper Deck, a playlist for MVP hockey cards, um, OPG. Um, there's a random playlist, there's a score playlist, and kind of as we go along, um, I'll kind of be creating these playlists and um, adding videos to them for you guys to watch. Um, so that's that and kind of how that got started like a huge shout out to JP for just wanting to go with me to the Galleria to buy hockey cards really um, and he's actually purchased some of the cards in some of the videos like the uh, Bowman hockey cards the ones that come with a stick of gum that's 25 years old I don't know if you guys have watched that if you haven't Please, please check out that video. Mateo, apparently, um, I wasn't there. Mateo ate a piece of gum that's 25 years old because it comes in the pack of hockey cards, right? It's 15 cards and a stick of gum. And Mateo ate one of them. He said it tasted disgusting. I'm trying to convince him. I have like seven or eight more of them. I'm trying to convince him to do a video of him just like eating them, even if he spits them out right away. I find that would be hilarious to catch on camera, but you guys gotta help me convince Mateo to do that video. Um, like, leave up a comment or something saying, Mateo, do the video. Mateo, don't be soft. Don't be a chicken, Mateo. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, 
that's kind of how the whole Proco Taco hockey collection kind of got, I guess, reinvented or restarted. Um, in terms of other stuff, um, I guess that's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, just kind of do an introduction to the channel because I feel I didn't introduce myself to you guys yet. So this is me. I am Proco Taco. Um, um, yeah, um, like for October, which is approaching quickly, um, I'll be tossing up more videos, um, I bought some more Bowman hockey cards, the, the ones with the gum, and, um, hopefully I can keep getting some cards off that vending machine and keep making, like, little videos for you guys to watch. Um, Tim Hortons next week on September 30th is coming out with hockey cards. They partnered with Upper Deck and they're going to be making hockey cards. Um, and that to me is really, really special because um, I'm not sure if you guys know the story behind Tim Hortons and how Tim Hortons actually got started. But Tim Hortons was actually founded by a hockey player that played for the Maple Leafs whose name was Tim Horton. Um, um, so if you didn't know that, hopefully you know that now, and maybe you'll kind of look into that. It's, I find really cool that Tim Hortons is bringing in those hockey cards, kind of like how McDonald's had, but now it's Timmy's. And it's even more special because that's how Timmy's got started. It was a hockey player's, Tim Horton's like, dream to have a donut shop and he did that and now even after he's passed away 50 years later this franchise is still there and it's going back to its roots it's bringing hockey back it's it's going back to where it started and I find that really special especially um, like I read a little article on all the cards and there's a hundred base cards in the set. The very first card is Tim Horton. Um, and then the rest is all like modern day players in the base set of the cards. So that's really special. Um, like as a Maple Leafs fan and as a hockey fan, I find that to be amazing. And I support it a hundred percent. I definitely want to collect these hockey cards. Um, so hopefully I can get up a few videos of me opening up a few packs of those for you guys. Um, I think they're going to be a dollar if you buy like a drink or something. And if you don't, they're two dollars. So I guess I'm going to be buying some coffee as Tim Hortons. And um, yeah, there's going to be like um, cards with player signatures on them. With like game worn jerseys on the hockey cards. Um... And it's pretty cool. I posted up a, uh, or retweeted a link to that article on my Twitter. I think I also put it on my Facebook, but um, mainly on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me there too, at uh, Proco Taco. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. And one last thing before I go. Um, a week from today, on October 4th, 2015, I'm going to be participating in the CIBC Run for the Cure. Um, basically, it's a jog to raise money for the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, I encourage you guys to donate if you like. You don't have to, you know, sometimes it's not possible to donate, but um, any support is appreciated. Um, I'll post a link to my personal page uh, in the description of the video below. And uh, you guys can check that out if you want, you know, even if you can't make a donation, just inform yourself, you know, knowledge is power. Um, so yeah, educate yourself, and um, we're going to do that jog next week. And yeah, um, so th thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. It's been kind of a long one, but um, I just wanted to introduce myself and kind of get that out there. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching the videos up until now. Um, hopefully more in the future, and um, yeah, if you like this video,
click that like button. Um, if you didn't, click this like button. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos, guys. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Proco Taco. That's P R O K O Taco T A C O. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace out, Proco Taco.